All right, let's take a look at what Mr. Neely finds so evil and terrible about music theory. So if you're online and you see the phrase music theory, try replacing it with the phrase the harmonic style of 18th century European musicians. This is a class that you can take all about the harmonic style of 18th century European musicians. Okay, so when I initially watched this, I was convinced that Adam Neely was doing a little bit of trolling, having a little bit of fun, but he's actually being serious here, folks. We see this all the time in popular media. We've been trained to see the two of them as the same thing. Even though the analytical models, the music theory, that might help in understanding the music of Beethoven might not help in understanding rock music, or country, or R&B, or electronic dance music, or any of the styles of music that you, the person watching this video, are statistically more likely to listen to and make part of. Let's look at this list. The most popular music genres in the US. In 2013, this list is out of date. The most popular genre in the United States today is hip hop music. You could at least find a chart that's a little more recent than 2013. Anyway, rock, R&B, alternative, which alternative rock basically, country, hard music, like what are you referring to? Hard style, gabber, rhythm, dubstep, chill step, bro step. We got rap, soundtrack, electronic, Latin, classic, classic, classical, or look, here's the deal, dude. Learning 18th century European music theory or whatever you call it is going to help you get better at every single one of these genres. It's going to help you be a better musician, a better producer, a better mix engineer, all kinds of stuff. And it's going to continue to help people even when new genres are created for hundreds of years to come. Can you spot the difference between the tonal composers on the left and the tonal composers on the right? That's right. The ones on the left are American. American. The ones on the right are German. And they clearly wrote the better music, which is why we study them. They clearly have the superior music. They clearly have a superior culture. They are hold up, hold up. Who is saying that? Where does it say that in your music theory textbook? I don't remember reading that. I don't remember hearing that. And I went to music school for at least a couple of years. The white racial frame of music theory. Hi, my name is Philip Ewell. I am an associate professor of music theory. Our white racial frame believes that the music and music theories of white persons represent the best framework. All of the materials that we use in our music theory classes, for sure, are so deeply indebted to whiteness. I don't recall hearing one single sentence about whiteness in four years at a music school university. When is there ever a discussion about which race of which music is more superior than the other? It sounds like a hang up that you have, dude. Is this really the message that you think the world needs to be hearing right now when the cultural tensions are rising in this country? Do we really need another reason to hate each other? Woo, okay. Racial ideology. That sounds like some critical race theory jargon. And as we've learned recently, that is un-American. So I don't want to talk about that too much on this channel, lest we be accused of un-American activities. Y you want to know why it's un-American, Adam Neely? Do you really want to know? Did you ever stop to think about that for a second? Why would anybody say it's un-American to analyze everything through the lens of race? You know why it's un-American? Because America is supposed to be built on the idea that all men are created equal and that we all get treated equally under the law. Now, has this country always held up to that standard? Has this country always delivered on that promise? No, it has not, okay? This is a fact. But you're out here in 2020 talking about how big of an issue and how important it is that we talk about white supremacy. You're gonna talk about this like amorphous blob, this, this evil mustache twirling uh, sinister plot to what? because somebody prefers a different style of music that that's really that's really the big cultural issue going on in the world right now
Really? Figured bass is totally useless in understanding any kind of music that isn't Western or tonal. But let's say that you were enrolled in AP Spanish, and the way that you were taught Spanish in this course was by studying 300-year-old Spanish grammar. False dichotomy. Music from 300 years ago can still be explained with modern theory, and ancient theory can still be used to explain modern music. The comparison is false. George Russell and Barry Harris developed their systems for jazz improvisers. But since jazz harmony is largely tonal, as well as a lot of European classical music, there is no reason why you couldn't simply adopt their systems to look at the music of Chopin, or Beethoven, or Brahms, or Mahler, or... Right, but why are you, like, desperate to try and use a system of theory that's not designed for that particular style of music. Music theory, as we know it, is generally used as a descriptive method of talking about and analyzing old-fashioned European classical music. So why are you like trying to throw all that out the window and say, no, 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 Barry Harris has a better method, or George Russell has a better method? There's absolutely nothing in the harmony and voice leading textbook that tells you you're not allowed to write this because it came from Barry Harris. I'm sorry. I mean, music theory is descriptive, not prescriptive. I did a whole video about this, which you can watch up in the corner right here. The epistemology of ignorance. The practice that naturalizes the common sense intuition of the most privileged members of society as objective knowledge. Like, for example, when conservative pundit Ben Shapiro explains why, in his estimation, hip hop is not music. In oh no, you're not gonna, you're not gonna roast Ben Shapiro, are you, Adam Neely? Bro, you don't have to make fun of Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro makes fun of himself, dude. In, in my view, and the view of my music theorist father who, who went to music school, there are three elements to music. There is harmony, there, mm -hmm. is, there is melody, and there is rhythm. Okay. And rap only fulfills one of these, the rhythm section. And so it's not actually a form of music, it's a, it's a form of rhythmic speaking. This argument is actually very old. It echoes a 1918 article entitled Jazz and Jazzism, which... So Ben Shapiro is not allowed to consider what music he likes as music and stuff that he doesn't like is not music? Does that make him a bigot? Does that make him prejudiced against all hip-hop musicians? I mean, what are you saying, dude? People are allowed to think their music is the best music. I think that's called freedom. I think people are allowed to think they have the best idea. They have the best explanation. They have the best theory for music. Isn't that how we get better and better theories you don't just go around demonizing everybody else's theory come up with your own i mean people are allowed to think they have the most revelatory magical perfect in its simplicity formula for understanding music just like dr yule thinks that his evil twisted explanation for his own failure is somehow superior but if you don't agree you must be a race the reason Teenage Dream went to number one and remains in radio rotation is that it's a textbook example of the excellence and supremacy of the rules of Western music theory. So, yeah, it's right there. You don't actually have to look very far for evidence of white supremacy in music. Oh, so white supremacy equals any time you say the word supremacy. What is, like, oppressive about students being taught Schenkerian music theory and Schenkerian analysis at a music school when they've paid tens of thousands of dollars to learn Schenkerian music analysis at that school. Like, you literally pay the college to teach you Schenkerian music theory. You don't get to pay them and then say, oh, no, 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 you have to teach me this because you're uh, perpetuating white supremacist forms of music and I just I won't I'll just I'll keep paying you but you have to teach me what I want and not what you guys have told me what Schenkerian analysis has a unique form of musical notation that attempts to identify the deep structure background structure to then a middle ground structure and a foreground structure so this background structure came in only a couple of varieties it essentially had a motion from a tonic to a dominant to a tonic 
chord. He had a very short list of great composers. They were, of course, all white men. They were 11, I think some people say 12 in number. All German. And I'm sure the race or ethnicity was the important defining feature about these musicians. Tell me, were they left-handed? Did they have brown hair or blonde hair? Speaking except for two, uh, Chopin, who was a Pole, and Domenico Scarlatti, who was Italian. Sounds like they were pretty diverse to me. Why there is figured bass everywhere in all of our music theory textbooks? It's because it's all a system designed to teach Schenkerian ideas from the ground up. It's actually- No, 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 no. Dude, have you ever looked at a real book? Have you ever looked at a jazz chart? A jazz chart is literally figured bass in the 21st century. It's the same exact thing. Are you saying that the authors of the real book are also in on this like evil white supremacist plot to like brainwash the masses into thinking that German music is superior? Come on, dude, just come on already. It's all a system designed to show white supremacy over non-white culture. And if you think that's me being hyperbolic or speculative. No, it's you being ridiculous. And it's not hyperbolic because it's what you actually believe, Adam Neely. There's a hierarchy. White people are at the top. There's a hierarchy. The foreground is at the top. Also, the, the 11 or 12 composers are clearly at the top. And then he always used the word genius. Genius was code for white. It was also code for German. Genius is an insult. It's not that Schenker said, the Jews are the greatest enemies to Germany. And he was Jewish himself. And he was Jewish himself. It's not that he said, even Negroes think that they can govern themselves. No, it's not that he said these horrible things that we must, that the white mate race must annihilate these Japanese animals because they're Japanese. No, it's not that he said all of those things. No one's going to dispute that. That's all out there. People are flawed. People are idiots. Just like you're an idiot, Dr. Yule. Carl Schachter, the guy who co-wrote this Harmony textbook that we keep referencing, wrote that for Schenker, both his political and musical ideas were armaments in a cultural struggle that would eventually lead to a regeneration of both music and society at large in the German-speaking world. Okay, and how did that work out for him? Schenker believed that an aristocracy of some sort, at least in cultural matters, if not also in political structure, would promote the selection and support of gifted individuals among whom the rare genius might emerge. That he was altogether wrong in this last view, I'm not prepared to say. Wait a minute, what's so evil about this? He's a classist, as well as a racist. Who cares? He was correct when it came to music theory. That's my point. Our roots are white supremacist. We uh, have created racist policies based on that simple racist idea that whites are superior. Such as? Schenker's notion of superior culture as an instrument for civilizing the rest of the world, when placed in the context of such forceful prejudices and contempt, demands scrutiny. Go ahead, scrutinize his cultural beliefs. It has nothing to do with his music theory. Race exists, whiteness exists, we've been rooted in pushing whiteness, and whiteness has had the leg up this whole time. Okay, you made four points, and only one of them is correct. So your entire worldview is 75% flawed, Mr. Yule. The Journal of Schenkerian Studies at the University of North Texas published 15 papers in a symposium response that Dr. Ewell was not invited to participate in. One was just a short paragraph, and one was somehow published anonymously, which is strange because, you know, just ask any teacher if that's enough to get a passing grade on an assignment. Guess what, Adam Neely? I'm not anonymous. I'm Owen Adams. And I'm putting all this out on the line because I don't want to see our great nation torn apart by music theory. Probably the worst offender in laziness, though, comes from a professor at the University of North Texas named Timothy Jackson, who quotes at length from the Wikipedia article on misogyny in rap music, accuses Dr. Ewell of black anti-Semitism and also of not bringing blacks up to standard. Okay, right here. He says, Dr. Ewell is uninterested in bringing blacks up to standard so they can compete. Why do you think standard is in quotations? Usually when something is in quotations, it's because they're quoting someone. Clearly, the guy is quoting 
Dr. Yule's own language and using it against him. Because guys like Dr. Yule, they think that people of color shouldn't be held to the same standard as everybody else. Clearly, the guy is talking about holding black people to the same standard so they can compete. And also patronizingly dismisses the work of black musicians. We can listen to their music with pleasure even if they aren't the supreme geniuses on the level of the greatest classical composers. Right. That, that, that's, that's correct. It's still a valid form of music. How are you missing this point, Adam Neely? Is your bias really clouding your judgment this much? It's not about canceling anybody. It's about addressing difficult issues directly, forthrightly. We're How about we call out racists that exist today, that exist in the modern world, like you, Dr. Yule? Oh no, I just wanted to have a difficult conversation and put it all out in the open. You're not succeeding in doing that. You're just annoying everyone. We're going to talk about it openly. We're going to talk about white supremacy, the roots in white supremacy. I mean, that's a statement of fact. It's not under question. Yeah. Music theory is historically rooted in white supremacy. I really didn't want to make this like a combative thing. Where it's like, oh, it's me versus Adam Neely. I really don't. I'm, I'm trying to be a nice guy here. Adam Neely, you, you got to pull yourself out of this rabbit hole, my dude. You keep going back to this like, oh, it's it's European. It's European. And therefore, it's like somehow flawed. It's somehow wrong. I think, Adam Neely, I, I think you're just trying to signal your virtue. You're trying to show, hey, everybody, I'm a better person than Ben Shapiro. I'm not like him. Well, guess what, Adam Neely? Ben Shapiro is correct about a lot of the things that he says, just like Schenker is correct about a lot of the things that he says. All right, you, you, you can't fall into this trap of just calling something bigoted, and therefore you can just dismiss all the arguments, you can dismiss all the science, you can dismiss all the facts and truth. I absolutely appreciate Adam Neely's contributions to the YouTube space, and all of his amazing videos on music theory, and his amazing skill on the bass guitar. Do you think I'm like picking on poor little Adam Neely over here? I think he can handle it. I think he's a grown man. I think he can take it. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below. Is music theory racist? Is it dominated by a secret white supremacist plot? Let me know your opinion. Or are you of the opposite opinion? That Schenker was just this great guy that needs to be held up and put on a pedestal above everybody else? Do you think German music is actually the superior form of music? I don't quite think so. I'm Italian. I happen to think Italian music is the most superior form of music in the world. Definitely hit that like button if you like what you see. Hit that like button if you're feeling my threads this evening. And definitely share this video with all the musicians you know. Share this video with all the music content creators and the producers and the session musicians and the music theory professors. But I would say to all of you guys watching this video, continue to ask questions, have the real difficult conversations, and continue to push back on these popular narratives that are so destructive in our culture. And that's how you get the money.